So, Okay, heading out from Boots Off Hostel. Trail Magic was here. The uh, Trail Association was here giving out pancakes, sausage, eggs, and fruit. It was really good. Thank you. Um, I think I've got the letters wrong, but Appalachian Long Distance Trail Hiker Club. Something really close to that. And now I'm heading back down to the lake. See how many miles we can get in. It's about 9.15 or so. I also wanted to say thank you to Boots Off Hostel for letting them do that there. And um, if you don't know about Boots Off Hostel, it's a great hostel. I've stayed here a couple times already in the past. They have good resupply and friendly staff and all of that. So a lot of good options for which way you want to stay. Tenting and cabins and all that. I guess it was three years ago now, in 2020, in the fall, I did the section hike from Allen Gap to here, Watauga Lake. It's 140 miles, and I remember at the end of it, sitting down here by the lake, going, through hiker blood, it's in me, I really need to do this. And now, I, here I am doing it, so it's pretty exciting, and once again, I'm going to say, live your dreams. Oh man, that trail magic was really what I needed. I, I feel very full. I must have had... A dozen pancakes, half dozen eggs, <laughs> a couple little oranges, a banana, yada yada. I'm gonna stop here, switch out socks, grab a little snack. All right, friends, it's 2.45. We made it to the Vanda Venter Shelter. We've gone about nine and a half miles from the hostel. And, uh, Here's what you can see from behind the shelter. That part of Watauga Lake we've been walking along. And there's more of it way out there. It's been blowing crazy and of course as soon as I take out my camera it stops but it's been really nice it's kind of keeping me dried off and a lot of it's been at my back helping me go up some of these little hills so I really appreciate that it's almost six o'clock I just stopped and got some water at a spring so I've got enough for tonight and to get started tomorrow looking at the weather the wind is supposed to continue strong um, all night it's Currently, it's supposed to be like 30 mile an hour winds plus 45 gust. Pretty much the same it looks like through the night. Since I've seen a few trees come down while I'm walking through here, uh, and no, I don't see any tornadoes this time, but there's just strong wind. Uh, I'm trying to make it to the shelter. It's about two and a half miles up yet. I've been getting in a little bit late, probably 7, 7.30. Um, but being in a stolid structure might be a wise idea tonight. So, let's see if I get there.
another slow start to the day. Um, but it's supposed to be nice weather all day, so I'm going to hit the trail, get at least 16, to, uh, I think that's two shelters down. By the way, the pack should feel a lot lighter today. I tried out the tent last night. When I got here, it was really windy. My gosh, there was a lot of water on that tent, and my rain gear was still soaked. I ate a bunch, so wearing a little extra clothing this morning just because it's cool. So hopefully that'll help. I'm basically out of water and this spring is pretty low, so I was digging out a little bit of that canal there so it had a drop and then put some bark in there wedged with some rocks to try to get a little bit of a drop to come into my bottle. Seems to be working. Success, filled it up. friends made it to double spring shelter I just sat down to uh, make some oatmeal because I'm not moving fast today and I thought it'd be nice to have that and I thought and Nancy came by super nice people we just started talking next thing you know they're giving me beef sticks and these snacks for later uh, so I wanted to say thank you uh, for the trail magic and the and the fun conversation wish you well on your hike and then another trail friend of mine lost his special water bottle with its special cap, and I found it. <laughs> so I'm hiking it out today. There's all kinds of motorcycles and sports cars racing up and down the roads. There must be some kind of race coming up. Anyway, I got to this gap. Oh, I can't think of the name of it, but there's some really nice guys there. They were giving out trail magic, so thank you for that. And uh, now we've got to press on. I think we've got four miles to the shelter. Then as far as we can get uh, while we have light. Yeah, that last trail magic came at just the right time uh, because it saved me from going a quarter mile down the road to get water. And so I didn't have to drink what I had. I've got some for later, so they saved me a... A lot of extra walking and rehydrated me. They had uh, moon pies and some candies. It was just perfect. So uh, thanks again, guys. call that the emergency shelter apparently it's not structurally sound they really don't want people using it it is 5 30 so that'll probably put me there 6 37 i'm not making very good time today i'll probably just call it there it's the last water water source until pretty close to town i think so i'll probably just get up really early like get going at five o'clock and try to do the last 10 miles. Maybe I'll still make breakfast. But I don't know, for whatever reason, I just have no energy today and uh, haven't been able to find my usual positive spirit. Except when I'm around people, it kind of perks up. But uh, I think my feet are just kind of sore and it's bugging me. And, and I don't know, I'm just low on energy. So maybe I'll eat good tonight and see what tomorrow brings. All right, friends, 
I think I'm having a mishap meltdown. Oh, it's just not been a good day overall. My uh, digestive tract has just been rumbling the whole day. I think it's rebelling. It's saying, I want food I recognize. <laughs> and the sun, ah, it's just right in my eyes. The last couple hours in particular, it seems like the lighting is terrible. Sorry about this. But uh, my feet are still hurting. They're doing pretty good when it's not rocky and really steep. And uh, unfortunately, there's been a lot of that on this section. I didn't expect it. I think that's a big part of what's going wrong with me today is um, I had told myself it was going to be mostly like that one section of farmland. I thought that's what this all was. And you just race along it. So uh, really did myself a number on that one. So I got to regroup mentally tonight. Um, one of the things about hiking is part of it's physical and today it's not going well but that's why i think it's important to have multiple aspects of why you're hiking there's a social element that's been really good today yes there's been trail magic but there's also been good conversations with people on trail and uh, some others through texting that i've enjoyed so that part has been good today i guess um and i realized We've now cleared 20% of the trail because 2200, 10% is 220, and we were past mile 440 when we woke up this morning, so that's a positive. So, as you can tell, I'm trying to pull myself out of my funk. And uh, okay, the plan is we've got another half mile maybe to the shelter. I'm just going to call it there tonight. I'm tired, I don't want to risk injury. And the water is terrible after the shelter and it's a quarter mile down to it. So <laughs> if I make it down to the water and back, that'll be all I can do today. Hopefully tomorrow will be better. Good morning. Mishap is back with his better attitude. Feet are feeling a little better. And uh, I am night hiking into Damascus. I left the shelter at 4.30. Um, because I want to get there in time for a hot breakfast, meet some friends there. And uh, it's supposed to rain this morning, so I was hoping to kind of maybe beat the rain, at least beat it packing out. Um, whether I beat it all the way into town or not, I don't know. But I did want to show you the night lights. I hope that turns out for you. And the stars are still out, so I've got a chance. Do you hear that alarm clock bird?
How about that, gang? We made it to the Tennessee Virginia state line. I just realized, I don't know if I ever properly said we entered Tennessee at some point. Um, I think that happened around the Smokies. And then ever since then, the trail dances back and forth between Tennessee and North Carolina. And it's hard to know which state you're in. But uh, Tennessee is even my home state. So a little embarrassed that I forgot to mention it, I think. But um, need to say thank you to Tennessee and North Carolina for the trail, trail associations, uh, just wonderful. I loved hiking in this whole section. There were some hard, hard parts, but that comes with it. I mean, you gotta, you gotta take the good with the bad and the hard with the easy, right? And it's all good training. I feel like at this point, almost 470 miles, um, I've had a chance to really test out my gear. So when I get to Damascus, one of the things I want to do is drop some stuff and potentially add a couple things i'll try to do a video about that and why i'm making the changes i'm going to make my hope is to come out with my uh, all the gear except food and water to be around 13 pounds now moving forward so we'll see if that pans out or not oh wait the way to the diner to get some breakfast Oh, I got it backwards. When bad luck descends on mishap, I missed the diner by like a quarter mile. Now I'm getting rained on. Hopefully I'll get there before I get too soaked. As you can see, I overbought. It all doesn't fit in this little loaner pack. <laughs> so I'm gonna eat a bunch of stuff before I drive back to the hostel. I think I'm gonna forgo going out to eat at restaurant kind of stuff tonight and just eat a bunch of this stuff. It's it's healthy, but I need a lot of intake. And, um, well, some of it's healthy. I mean, the ice cream and the cookie dough is not, but you know, in the interest of maintaining weight on this hike, you gotta sacrifice. Right. <laughs> For weight control. Okay, I have finished gorging on all kinds of food. <laughs> now I'm heading to a different hostel to hang out with some of the people I met on trail. So I'm attempting to live out the uh, social element of the trail, which of course is hard for an introvert, but that was the whole point of this trail, right? To get changed, so I'm all in, I'm going in. Hey Duke, Duke, come here Dukey, come here puppy. Oh, he got food. <laughs> I'm happy to say I felt like the social time went really well, so feeling good on that level.